I have a few uh, videos waiting on my crashed hard drive. Uh, might take a while to sort that out. I do have the files probably on uh, SD cards if I get a new hard drive in there and start loading them back in. So that's why I'm a little bit late. I got like starts of six different videos that are in a holding pattern. One of them is a review on this meter, this Frenzy. Pretty good little meter. It's kind of nice that it turns on and defaults to kind of an automatic function. And there it found AC volts right away. So it's pretty good at that. Kind of defaults to ohms usually. But um, sometimes it defaults to the wrong thing, so it's not always that handy. But it's kind of nice to be able to push one button and not have to really think about anything or look at anything and have it work most of the time. I did some more testing on this meter, which I'll do in a review later. I got my hard drive working. But um, suffice it to say, I tried to trick out its ohm, its uh, capacitance method of testing. I put a series resistor to a capacitor, and it was still able to give me an accurate value in the capacitor. So there's good and bad aspects to that, which I'll go into later, but there's kind of sophisticated capacitor network uh, checker that it can give me a good value even with a series resistor. But on the other hand, having a series resistance, you know, is a defect in itself. It doesn't show you that. It won't show you resistance in capacitance mode, which is kind of a problem. But uh, it won't get fooled if it's showing you a high value in capacitance mode by a high, e high ESR. So that's good. Good and bad. But it's a pretty good meter. It's pretty handy. It's nice that it charges on USB instead of eating up my 9-volt batteries or other batteries.